topping the news tonight, a global economic issue is affecting workers right here in West Alabama. The demand for steel and coal is down, and so is the price. And that's forcing Jim Walter Resources to make some significant cuts to their workforce. Uh, WVUA's Chelsea Barden was in Brookwood today to see what folks are saying about these cuts. She joins us now live from the studio with more. Chelsea. Thanks, Philip. The news of the possible 370 job cuts at Jim Walsh Resources was all the buzz today down at Henry's Burgers and Cream. We ran into Brookwood Mayor Alton Heitch at the local eatery. He tells me he's saddened for those affected by the job cuts, but hopeful the reduction in force will help stabilize the coal industry in our state. Hopefully this can help stabilize the mining industry to where, you know, it doesn't close down permanently. That would be, you know, really painful to everybody in the Brookwood area because we were pretty well built and established on coal. Henry's Burgers and Cream business manager Alex Hatter says the news of the possible lost job scares her for the sake of the families and the community in general. These are our friends. They're our neighbors. We know these people by first name. We know their spouses. We know their kids. Um, and there are, some people are already struggling with the high cost of goods these days. Um, you know, for anyone to lose a job, you know, and affect their family, their spouse, their children is just very disheartening to us. Business owner and Brookwood City Councilwoman Jana Jennery tells me her business is already down compared to years past. It's just really sad to hear that all the families will have to go through this. We're just praying for them and praying for our businesses and our town. Um, it's to, it's going to take a toll on our town. Mayor Heitch wants people to know his family was in the coal business for over 40 years, so he can relate to the families who will be impacted. I'm sure, you know, the Jim Walter people, you know, doing everything they can to keep from laying them off, but it is, a, you know, an impact. So really, you know, it's painful to families because, you know, they have to try to make a living and keep going. The notice affected by employees received says that the cuts will take place by or around July 14th. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA News.